Hi, I'm Lauren McLean, and today I'm the face of America. We have since the 70s been designated as an international refugee city. And so we have over 100 languages spoken in our schools. Um, people from almost every continent um, are here. And we have very strong communities. In some ways, if you just look at the conflict, the history of conflict in the last 40 years, um, we will have people from the communities that were victims of conflict. Um, a really rich um, refugee community and folks that have um, jumped into this community and built businesses and um, restaurants and um, community gathering places and it's in my mind like we are a city of immigrants and you know f when when Easterners came here they followed a, the Oregon Trail and setting out looking for a better place to live and um, we had the Basque community that came in the early 1900s um, seeking a better place to live it's continued and it's made our community really rich I am Lauren McLean. I'm the president of the Boise City Council here in Boise, Idaho. So I was born in Boston, Massachusetts. I moved as a baby to Houston, Texas, where I lived until just before my 16th birthday. Then I moved to a tiny village in upstate New York called Casanova, where I went to high school and met my husband. Went away to university at Notre Dame and lived in Rochester for a year, and then 21 years ago moved to Boise with Scott. You know, as a kid, my parents, I think, just taught me to work really hard. School was important. Um, reading was really important. And then, um, especially my mom and my grandmother were really involved and interested in politics and uh, um, community affairs and those different things. So I grew up listening to it um, and being really interested in things, but never expected that I myself would be an elected official. The council in Boise is a little different where we don't have bureaus that we're in charge of, but there are topics that are near and dear to my heart, and that's the intersection really of community justice policy, environmental policy, and um, economic development. And I really see an opportunity in cities to impact, to use the way cities grow and neighborhoods develop to impact the economy, um, but in the long term to address I think the opportunities that will come with climate change. So thinking about um, how we build tighter, more compact neighborhoods, actually make them more vibrant because people can walk to neighborhood stores and restaurants and schools, um, and then have jobs close by. And I think that then having great parks and open space and clean rivers um, makes people want to move here. So we have this really interesting nexus of um, a solid community, a vibrant downtown, um, great access to the outdoors and a, a, an economy that will thrive in the future. I consider myself a Democrat, but I don't run as a Democrat. And I really think that city issues aren't party issues. At the end of the day, you know, everybody can figure out, regardless of party, how best to, you know, build an economy, protect our environment, um, deal with affordable housing, um, and create strong neighborhoods and schools. But in Boise itself, of course, like the rest of the country, you do see this breakdown of people who are um, Democrats or Republicans. But I think that here, more than anything in this city, um, people have come from all over the world and chosen this place. And we see ourselves as Boiseans. And um, I'd say for the most part that once you're here and living in this place, I find that people want to be involved in their neighborhoods and in their city and in kind of charting the course of, of this of like the future of this place. And for that reason we you know we all love Boise. Um, and we have this hashtag here that's I am Boise. And people really use that more so than they do um, the the political party breakdown.